all those that turned towards them. It had about 20 meters or 10 seconds clear time directly with her in its view to see where she was. It continued toward her at some pace with the mound of earth building up in front of it. And as the mound of earth... February 7th. I have been in Palestine for two weeks and one hour now. And I still have very few words to describe what I see. I don't know if many of the children here have ever lived without tank shell holes in their walls. I wonder if you can forgive the world for all the years spent existing, just existing, in resistance to the constant attempt to erase you from your home. This is something I wonder about these children. I wonder what would happen if they really knew. Non-violent. Don't touch those we're confronting. Don't run. Carry nothing that could be used as a weapon. No self-initiating actions. But I had this underlying need to go to a place and, and meet people who are on the other end of the tax money she goes to fund the U.S. military. You just can't imagine it unless you see it. Rachel Corey was killed on March 16, 2003. By telling the story of one white middle class um, privileged American, um, we're not saying that her life is any more, has any more value or, or her death is any more tragic than the thousands of young Palestinians who died or the young Israelis who have died at the hands of guerrilla attacks. But I think it's important to draw a firm distinction between the policies of Israel as a state and Jewish people. That's kind of a no-brainer, but there's very strong pressure to conflate the two. I try to ask myself, whose interest does it serve to identify Israeli policy with all Jewish people? We don't want to conflate anti-Semitism with anti-Zionism. We um, believe that what the Israeli Defense Force is doing in Israel is um, shocking and in contravention of, of a lot of conventions. But that doesn't mean that we're anti-Semitic. In the same area where Sunday, 150 men were rounded up outside the settlement with gunfire over their heads while tanks and bulldozers destroyed 25 greenhouses the livelihoods of over 300 people. It's the premiere of this play in South Africa, and what's really hot in the news at the moment is the Land Act. The problems of redistribution of land, the problems of right to land, the problems of people having been removed from land and their homes destroyed. Journalism has a responsibility to be as unbiased and objective as it can be. Art doesn't. I know where I stand on the Palestinian issue, I have some strong feelings about it and I have no fear to make art that expresses those feelings.